Welcome back to Julia, Among the Stars. Okay, so I'm working on the translation problem here, and I've figured it out. Mostly. It turns out, the order that you press these in doesn't doom you eternally. It's not like if you press these in the wrong order, you have to reset the entire thing like I thought previously. No, it turns out, weirdly enough, these here, which actually show you the translations between the symbols and English words, these only appear if you actually click these buttons. So, basically what you have to do is literally just press every button, just so all of these translations here pop up. And then you can actually get the sequence down. It's very weird. Because it seems to force you to just... click this and have this nasty red thing pop up constantly just to get all these translations here, because these don't pop up until you press every single one. It's bizarre, but anyway, let's go. Okay, there we go, I got the whole thing. It says, To enter the place of eternal flow, you have to meet the following requirements. Be humble, patient, and knowledgeable. Only then the entrance will be allowed to those who seek the eternal flow. I just need to put in the very final one, flow, to finish this. Flow. Very good. The place of eternal flow is actually a real place. Your understanding of the written scripture helps with understanding ambrosians. There's something very funny about the way that that... That speaker talks. The, uh... What do you, what do you call that? The narrator? That's not really a narrator, is it? Just the way she talks is very strange. Very, very strange. Okay, that leaves one. Right, the story of If. Yeah, so I need to go back. And talk to the Ambrosians about that. I'm gonna go do that and I'll be right back. Okay, this should do it when I get this last one. Great work, Rachel Manners. She knows my name. Don't panic. It's probably just constructed from your memory. Its story should resonate with your species. He left to save everyone, and at the end, he was killed by his own people. When Ith tricked Kazir to attack his captors, he managed to return to Ambrosia. After erecting the four obelisks, he was declared dangerous and killed by his fellow Ambrosians. One thing is bugging me about this story. How was Ith able to pilot an alien spacecraft? And I think now, that was it. you understand the history well. But wait, there is more to be discovered. <laughs> but wait, there's more. I wanted to open a special room for you. Inside, you can understand the final piece of this puzzle. Goodbye, Rachel Manners. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Okay, now I should mention before I continue that I actually used a walkthrough to solve this puzzle here. With the whole story of Ith, which is actually the first time I've ever used a walkthrough for this game, and it's not because it was particularly hard. It's really not. All the information is there. You just you can get it from the Ambrosians and also from the uh, the ancient or whatever the hell he is outside of here. This dude. But the reason I used a walkthrough is because it's really tedious, and that's actually a problem that I'm having with this game at the moment. Especially with these two puzzles, is it? I, I kind of feel like the game's, I don't know, Jump the Shark or something. I don't know if that's the right term to use, but it just feels like it's gone off the rails. It's gone absolutely crazy to the point where it's not even, like, it just feels... I, I want to say it's, un, it's not even believable or plausible anymore. I mean, it's already, you know, a, a game set in space in the future, so obviously it's quite fantastical in some ways, but it's kind of gotten ridiculous. And these last couple puzzles feel like mindless busywork more than anything, which is why I didn't want to even bother solving them. 
Because to do that, I have to click, you know, I gotta click the go to the exploration thing, go back to the solar system, click on the planet, click on that, skip the cutscene, click on that, skip the cutscene, click on that, click, 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 click. He's like, ugh. I don't want to do that. It's just not interesting. So, I'm hoping the puzzles and the game gets back on track. With some gameplay that feels less like busy work. Let's hope. Let's see. Let me get this straight now. I am in a place constructed directly out of your memories. And you really think it's safe to explore further, Rachel? Oh, come on, Clever Clogs. You know you want to see what's out there. Would you go there if you were me? Just get on with it. Just let this madness stop, please. I somehow like this place. Yes, especially when it's part of a museum constructed directly out of my own memories. I don't think so. This place looks real. But how can I tell what's real and what's just an illusion? What if all the camera feeds are an illusion? Or what if there are no planets or quests and this is all just your trickery? Are you playing some kind of stupid game with me, Julia? Just stop it, Rachel. Your paranoia isn't helping. Look around and learn what you can from this place. Maybe Rachel isn't even real. Anyway, this place is beautiful. There's liquid rapidly flowing through the pipe. Oh really? Who would have guessed that? It appears that it's the same liquid that is pouring from the statues. Okay. <laughs> no kidding. Just look at that. I've seen that symbol already. Indeed. We've found the place our Ambrosian talked about. So this is the Temple of Eternal Flow. Observation. Can the fluid be the essence sought by Ambrosians? Let's get a sample. All right. Let's do that. Wait, unknown sub... Substance. Did I never examine this? Isn't that the thing from the rock, dude? <laughs> yeah, the stuff. The substance shows a presence of all of the. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so it's it's broken. Alrighty then. I'm going to guess that this liquid is Coke Zero. What? It's just ordinary water? So we went through all of this just to learn that ancient conquerors poisoned the lake? Isn't this exciting, Rachel? You humans went to such extremes to find extraterrestrial life, and here it is. And you discovered they need water for survival, just like you. But... But what? You should be excited that beings from another solar system not only exist, but share similarities with your kind. You're right, Julia. Given the fact they're so different, their common need for water is a major discovery. Indeed. It may turn out that water plays a much more important role in the universe than we thought. So what should we do about this discovery now? To fully gain their trust, we should find a place with pure, uncontaminated water and bring it to them in large quantities. Why can't we simply harvest the water from here? This place is one big anomaly. Anything taken from here wouldn't be able to exist outside the realm of this temple. How about the probe stock? Do you want to sacrifice your own water for them? It is just enough for you, and anyway, it is not enough for all of them. Let's ask our talking rock about this. All these statues. They're shaped like Ambrosians. It's obvious we are meant to see the connection. Exactly, just like the panels in that weird museum. It's as if we are meant to discover what that mysterious essence is. I just realized it looks like these Ambrosians are just infinitely vomiting. Ew. Heptagon. Interesting observation. It looks like there is a part missing here. And what might that be, Mobot? 
I have no idea. How helpful. I think that's it for this place. More Ambrosians. This statue shows them guarding that symbol. have found the place you call Ambrosia. We have met those who thought to be our emissaries, but they failed. What do you mean by failed? The evolution of each species is complex and unique. The nature of their trials and success are equally unique. This may be difficult for you to comprehend. I have studied. Rachel, remove your ego from the equation. This being has knowledge and experience far beyond human existence. Their desire to manipulate and dominate others was stronger than the agreement we made with them. They influenced entire developing civilizations in ways which we rejected, so we forced them to leave. How did you make them leave? They had massive weapons of incredible power, and you are just one. Your understanding is limited, so you will not comprehend our ways. Just accept this fact. They will never return. But I can see that you are trying to help them, even if your kind influenced many lives in this system. Did you deal with our expedition after what they did on Ambrosia. Hmm. Strange being remained silent for some time. I see you still don't understand yourself or your own kind enough. I will not reveal any information about that. It might be an unhealthy influence which could hinder your own evolution. I have nothing more to say, but I know we did nothing to your expedition. I have to say, this rock dude is mind numbingly condescending. I cannot wait to leave this place. The place of horrible puzzles and this condescending rock guy that talks at a snail's Pace. We found out what the essence is. It's ordinary water. So you really want to help the Ambrosians? Yes. We need to find a way to get their water back. If that is true, you must complete the ritual of Seer. And how to do that? I see from your memories that you have learned of a trial, the ritual of a seer. Yes, because you just told me about it. <laughs> yes, but what does it mean? It was an unfair test designed only to exploit the inhabitants. Despite impossible odds, one of them was able to defeat this trial. Was it if? Yes. And if you want to really help the Ambrosians, you must follow in his footsteps. So what is the ritual? You must go to the place of endless sands and slay the seal. If you survive, return to me. Until then, I cannot help. Once I am there, how will I find Kseer? He sleeps hidden, but always nearby. You can't hunt him when the sun is up. Wait for the night. Is there a way to actually kill him? Will Mobot be capable of doing this? Once again, Mobot's memory is probed. No, but your hope lies buried in the deep waters of Xenobia. Interesting, good to know. Still can't actually go into the waters yet, but if I find the right modification, I will be able to. 
Alright. Goodbye, condescending rock man. I'm going back to space. Oh, feels good to be away from that place. I kind of hate that. Moon now. The place in the mist. Alright, so yeah, I don't have any... I do have the laser cutter. I'm still not sure what to do with that yet. So let's check out a new planet. Let's start somewhere fresh. So there's two places I have not been. Let's go here. Phaedros. Phaedros, which means bright, is a small planet with a diameter of less than 7,000 kilometers. The planet was named after a bright glow which is caused by a combination of the reflective sandy surface and the planet's close proximity to Salia. The position and the celestial body composition rules out a presence of any kind of complex life form as we know them. One day on Phaedros lasts 10.3 Earth hours. Let's land. A research station sits on the sand dune, silently watching the surroundings. It is one of those places where time seems to stand still. One would wonder if even another hundred years would change the station. While the entrance doesn't look especially inviting, there is some discomforting presence that urges you to take shelter. It's as if the dunes emitted a deep and sinister sound. Just what happened here? Observation. It looks like the station has been badly damaged. Yeah, right. By sand. Sure, someone threw sand at it. What? What, what the hell did you think of that, Julia? I mean, no, not Julia. Rachel. Maybe it was battered by... Gzir. I'm, I'm just gonna call it Zir. Easier to say. So yeah, this is, I think, where Zir is. I wonder if this sand is similar to ours. Could you please take a sample, my bot? Affirmative. Composition of the sand sample is similar to silicon dioxide quartz. However, some of the minerals are unknown and should be subjected to further studies. So, similar, but not exactly the same. Nature has reclaimed what we brought here. It did, but that still does not explain why the platform has been thrown so far away from the station. Damage this severe and extensive doesn't make any sense from what we know about this planet. How did this happen? It was definitely Zier. Mobot, do you think that the damage was done by sand movement? I don't think so. Based upon the heavy deformation, it looks as if something big and heavy repeatedly pounded at the station shell. Weird. Do you think anything could live here? My sensors don't detect anything right now. Keep your sensors peeled. Yeah, it was definitely Zier. More broken stuff. Ooh, probably can get some power back if we just clean off these panels. Let's hope the panels are still in operation. Observation. The panels are correctly positioned. If they still work, there's no need to calibrate them. And nothing. What are we missing? Hmm. Oh, we need to reconnect the socket, don't we? Mobot, what's that weird thing on the cable? I am unable to answer. Should I obtain a sample? Please do. Wait, there's goop on it? I didn't even see that. Highly corrosive. The internal composition is so complicated that further analysis with current technology is impossible. Hmm. Well, let's 
Let's plug it in. Let me plug in the cable. We've got power. Is that a little hatch or something? Apparently we can go in that way. Or, oh, maybe we just look closer at it. I forgot that that doesn't always mean you're actually going into, like, another room. Look at this. Yeah. A backup air generating unit. I am not sure what to do with these containers right now. Let's leave them here for the time being. Alright, let's go take a look inside. I'm guessing we're going to find some logs. It's actually been quite a while since we found any logs. It's got the station. Mm -hmm. I am not going to get my circuit squished by this door. Don't worry, Mobot. We'll find a way to get you inside. Squishy circuits. What about this metal bar? What's that thing stuck in the sand? It looks like a metal bar. Hmm. Given the state of this station, it might prove useful. As you wish. That's what I figured. I am not going... How about that? This should do the trick. Alright, so I'm guessing this thing has the same layout as the other station. Sleeping quarters, living room... Yeah, I'm guessing everyone is probably the same. Although this one is certainly more... damaged. I wonder what happened in here. Could this be an explosion? I don't think so. It looks more like mechanical damage. Affirmative. Something must have repeatedly pounded it with great force. More of that substance. There is some kind of organic sticky substance on the wall. Acquire a sample, please. Looks like the same corrosive stuff that we found before, I think. Doesn't resemble any known material. Oh, maybe it's different. The biological structure of the substance is extremely complex and forms a perfectly organized biological structure. Its precise capacity is impossible to determine due to a memory limitation of this analytic station. Hmm. Observation. Someone tried to remove the locking mechanism. It looks like someone was desperately trying to get inside the station. Maybe the door mechanism was broken. Or maybe they were deliberately locked out. This is a multi-tool. Someone must have tried using it to break into the station. How is that possible? And why would they lock them out in the first place? Just look at the open socket. Someone tried to bypass card security with it. Obviously, that attempt was unsuccessful. Maybe we can use it ourselves to get inside. Apparently, the multi-tools of the future are basically tablets. This was once a decontamination control panel. It looks as if someone tried to find the door override controls, and they were in a great hurry. Alright, well, let's do what they were trying to do. Okay, how does this work? Mm -mm -mm. Connect top row nodes with the bottom row nodes in the right order. Um. We need to find some help with these wires. There are too many combinations. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? How would I find help with him? We need to find some... Where would I find help with the wires? None of this stuff matters. For the impact to damage the- Upon analysis, I can rule out an explosion. This is interesting. The impact came from within the station itself. Someone must have used the large hammer to do that. And had very strong arms. Could Zir have actually fit inside? For this damage to have come from the inside? Doesn't seem like the door is really that big. I wonder what happened in here. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Effa Without working either. Just examine everything. Most of the stuff I don't need to look at, but, you know, just in case. There is some... Acquire... 
another one. Isn't that just more of the same stuff? It all looks the same. Uh huh. Yep, yeah, so same as the other one. There is something stuck in the opening. Can you be more specific? It looks like Yamabushi indestructible paper. Torn to pieces. How ironic. <laughs> there are some markings on the paper. I would suggest not touching them, but I might be able to create a digital version of the markings. Okay, sounds like that's gonna help me with the wires. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be a reconstruct the thingy thing. Um uh, how do I reconstruct it though? Do I have to analyze it? Is it gonna do it automatically for me? Please do it. Oh, of course it's not going to. Because the computer is so stupid it can't, it can't reassemble an image. Oh. Alright. You know, I was hoping the puzzles would uh, get better, but uh, I think my hope was misplaced. If I'm not crazy, these can only rotate in one direction. Left click puts them down. Middle mouse does nothing. Scroll wheel does nothing. Holding down right click makes them move clockwise, and that's it. Hopefully I don't have to get it too close as far as the rotation goes. Uh... They, no... Did, what? I guess that stuck it in? Alright, cool. So that means that's not the right place. Alright, well it's not too terrible. The computer is apparently smart enough to know when I've got it in the right place, even though I don't have all the other things attached to it. But it's too dumb to do it on its own. Where the heck does this go? Got a smooth bit on this one. Ooh, I think I see where this one goes. Yep. Hmm, what could those numbers possibly mean? I wouldn't want to make a premature conclusion, but I think I know the meaning of this number code. What makes you think that? I think that the person who wrote those numbers was in the station corridor, trying very hard to get into the station in time. And for some reason, he didn't make it. The bloodstains all over the place would support your claim. So, can I pull that up while I'm looking at this? No, oh, yes, yes. Reference picture loaded. Okay, um, <laughs> I think I get it. Yep, yep, yep. So it looks like one of them has not been figured out, but the other ones have been, right? So this is like, it's one to one. Looks like three has not been figured out. And then two to four. Three to one. Four to four. Five to two. So the one that has not been figured out is three to something. Uh, shit. No. No, I don't want you. Go away. Can I, can I not undo this? Uh...
What the f Okay. One to one, two to four. Three to one. Four to four. Five to two. Let's try this again, shall we? So apparently that's wrong. One to one, two to four, three to one, four to four, five to two. I don't have to like press anything, do I? Like an enter key? This should just work, right? Right? I don't really know what these symbols are, like... Are those commas? They don't really look like commas. They just look kind of weird. But the three is indeed the only one that does not have a second number. And you have to go top from bottom, you can't go bottom to top. Try three to three. I mean, I already did that. I'm just doing the same thing I did before. Nothing's going to change, is it? I don't get it. Perfect, we're in. Uh, what? Warning. There's something wrong with the air here. Analyze it for us, please. We need to be extra cautious because there is a high concentration of nitrogen, which makes this place highly explosive. Deactivate your fuel engines and switch to the solar energy backup. I don't really have any idea how I solved that, to be honest. I was actually just staring at it for a while. You know, I cut there and I was just staring at it, trying to figure it out on my own, and then I just kind of connected one without much thought into it, and it worked. I don't even know what I did to solve that. I, I want to look at that again. Can I look at that thing again? I can't. I'll never know how the hell I solved that. I connected one to three. But how did that... I don't know. Whatever. Maybe what looked like a comma thing was actually a one? It didn't look like a one. There's no dash, was there? Anyway. Um. I think I'm going to end this episode here. As you can probably tell, I am falling out of love with this game. Quite a bit. I have to admit, it's annoying me a lot. It's not like it has frustrating puzzles or anything of the sort. It really doesn't. The puzzles are still quite simple. It's just... I don't know, I don't feel the connection to it anymore. I mean, early on when I was reading the, the crew logs, you know, it felt... It felt personal, I actually felt some connection to these characters, but... Since then, it's just been a bunch of random wacky shit that's been happening, and like, I don't even care anymore, and the puzzles just feel like... Like they're just simple... Super simple match games, you know? Like the, the pipe connection game of the... Um, of the blueprints, or all of these just matching games for hacking stuff and whatnot. And they're all very simple types of mini games that I think everybody's pretty much seen them before, or at least versions that are quite similar to them, because there's really not much to them. They're just kind of like barely themed to be, to try to have some sort of connection to what's actually happening in the story and what you're actually doing, but. You know, you can obviously see through it, it's just a simple match this to that kind of game, or match this to that, or find this and that, it's all about matching for the most part. And I'm just, I don't feel as connected to it as I did before. However, we are at a research station here. Which is probably gonna have more logs from the people that 
used to be here, so I'm hoping that I'm gonna like this section a lot more than the previous stuff. So, I'm crossing my fingers, I'm really hoping. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.